Hi everyone and happy new year to each and every one of you. Thank you all so much for joining me in this new year. So to kick off the new year, we're starting off with a curried corn and pigtail recipe and I served it with dumplings. The recipe for the dumplings will be in a future episode. So to start this recipe in a pot on medium heat, I'm adding in coconut oil. I prefer coconut. If you don't have coconut oil, you can use any other type of oil you have on hand. In went some meaty seeds and I allowed the meaty seeds to get really brown before adding in some curry leaves. Then goes in some onions. Then goes chopped pimentos and chopped scallions or as we say in Trinidad, sides. Next, I'm just going to give this a mix and allow it to saute until the aromatics are light brown in color. Once it's light brown, I'm going to go in with my minced garlic and mix that in. We're going to cook the garlic until it's also light brown. Next goes in the curry and we're going to toast this for about a minute. We're toasting it until it feels greeny. So when you're rubbing the back of the spoon on it, it's going to feel really greeny. Once it's ready and the oil starts separating there, you'll go in with some water. The water is going to help cook the curry. And now what we're waiting for is for this curry to thicken. So I added in some bandania or you can put in green seasoning and mix that in and allow the curry to thicken. This is how it will look. The oils will start separating and you'll know that your curry is ready. So give that a mix and then I'm going to add in corn. Now I did not pre-boil the corn, I like using the corn as is and I add in the pigtails and the pigtails were also pre-boiled. In went some oil blooper seasoning or you can use chicken seasoning or pork seasoning and I'm gonna give that a mix. Now for the pigtails I just boiled it three times, discarded the water after each boil. Each pigtail is different, so you'll have to taste it to know when it's finished, when it's soft, when the salt content is out. So allow that to fry up in there for about five minutes, and then you'll go in with your coconut milk. Fresh is always best if you have it on hand. And I'm adding in some additional water to help cover all of the ingredients. Now if you had bhaji or spinach and you wanted to chop it up and add it into this, you can do that also. You can also add pieces of sweet potato or cassava or even breadfruit to this. Now we're going to allow it to come up to a simmer. It's going to cook. It's going to take about half an hour. That's how long mine took. And we're going to allow it to cook until that sauce thickens and it coats the pigtail and the corn. And if you guys didn't want to use pigtail, you can use any other salted meats you wanted to. So you see how nice and thick my sauce is? That's how you want it to look. Because if you're serving it with dumplings, you need that sauce to go with the dumplings. So you'd want to taste and adjust your salt at this point in time. And then this is finished. How easy was that to make? Remember? You can try it with the different variations, as I said, with cassava or breadfruit or sweet potato. Feel free to switch it up and do what you would like with it. Add the bhaji, it's really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe, my first recipe for this new year. I have lots more recipes to come. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Wishing you and your family the best for this new year. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.